Hello friends and welcome back to a chair in a room green water. I am of course playing on my Oculus Rift by way of Steam VR. So it's time folks, it's time to jump back in here and try to unravel some more of the mystery that is me. I am an enigma. Who am I? What did I do? Who did I do it to? What was my motivation? What's my favorite food? Who's my favorite band? and so on and so forth. We've learned a little bit about what's going on, but it's all in bits and pieces, and we are what is known as the unreliable narrator, or something like that. We know that the person who is telling the story, it's being told through my eyes, we know that I have psychotic breaks, we know that I'm in a mental, a mental institution. We know that I'm heavily medicated, which means we can't fully trust anything that I see or hear or say. So uh, hopefully as time goes on, we'll be able to separate the lies from the truth and find out what really happened, but maybe not. I don't care. As long as it's good fun getting there, then I'll be down. So here we are staring at the toilet and picture of a swan over the toilet not just a swan though looks like there's a, a pelican and uh, I don't know I don't know what these birds are I'm not a zoologist all I know is that they have significance on my board so here we are back in our room after we just got off our little boat ride where we uh, saw a hooded figure in the mist in the distance we also saw uh, some religious um, connotations on the side of a church and floating on some boards in the water and then at the end of the ride we found a corpse floating in the water with a noose around its neck uh, it was around midnight when I zoned out into that memory it's about five minutes after two now which means I was out for about two hours pretty good long vision anyway well here we are back in my room back with my chair <laughs> back with my chair that's in my room it's an unruly chair man I just tried to pick the thing up and that is proving to be a difficult task look at that I can't grab it maybe that's why it's called the chair in the room because this chair is a SOB like I can grab it but it won't move screw the chair then at least we still have the room we can just call it the room green water all right anyway I don't know what else to do we just got back let's take a look at our board and see if there's anything different on it And I can't interact with the board. Okay, there we go. We got the board. What did I do to be here? I remember a bird on the water. What was it? Who was the teenager in the water? That did not look like a teenager at all. Not even close. It looked like an old man. Not like a super old man, but someone in, in the middle aged. He did not look like a teenager. Who was the teenager in the water? Who else was out there? What was the bird by the highway? What highway? You talking about the uh, motel? The Pelican Motel? Place the clue here. So I guess we're going to have to grab another one of these birds and stick on that and it'll trigger another memory. I think it was the Pelican, right? To put all that stuff back in the uh, cabinet because this is the really important stuff here pelican motel yeah see pelican motel so I bet if I go over here and grab that pelican and place it ooh did you hear that but if I place this on this board, we're going to get another memory. Oh. 
chapter three pelican motel october 2012 so this was recent more recent than anything that we've uh, seen so far this was just last year Oh, this is crazy. I really dig this type of thing, man. This is nuts. It makes you feel really uneasy. Got all these voices going off in my head. I don't can't hear what they're saying though. We need to find the light switch so I can see what's up. What's that red light? Where is it coming from? Is there a camera there? Is that what that is? I can't tell. Well, let's try the obvious thing first. Let's go for the door. Okay. Went for the door and everything changed. Got all these whispers in my ears. I don't know if they said tomorrow morning. Sounds like a little girl. Alright, so we have the Holy Mother. We have the picture of the birds. And we have... It says, take me there tomorrow morning. We have a picture here of uh, original sin. This is the Garden of Eden. There's Adam. Do I remember what? Take me there tomorrow morning. So do you remember the church? It says, do you remember the something? Take me there tomorrow morning. Say it again. I don't know. It sounds like maybe church. I don't know. Anyway, we have Adam, Eve, Lucifer in the form of a serpent. Original sin, the downfall of man. Anyway, this is the exit. Well, now I'm underwater. I see we have loads of my, what was it, chlor, promazine or something like that? Chlor promazine, yep, that's right. Any core promazine left? Oh, there they are. Things get a little more normal. I just ate one of them. And this place is weird. Looks like this dude was heavy on the beer and cigarettes. Turn the light on. 
There's no light in the room. No lamp. No nothing. And I can see a little better than last time. Sounds like the news is playing on the television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's talking about an unidentified body being found in the swamp. So obviously this is this this boy that I saw in the boat that the news is talking about. Back in the hallway again. Everything appears to be the same. Back to the exit. Oh, wow. This is crazy looking, man. There's that eye. The all seeing eye. And it looks like we have a Marshall stack or something here. I don't know what that is. No, oh, it's a mini fridge. Can't open the bottom one. I guess not. All right, so we have a milk carton here with another missing person on it. This is Grace, who went missing in 03. I think I was in Iraq at that time. If I am indeed the soldier. That again is just a theory. And some more meds in here. Yep, three of them. Well, we might as well, right? That helped last time. Let's look around a little bit more first, though. I don't know what kind of freedom they're giving me here. You know, not much. Definitely a cool scene, though, from inside the headset. Pelican Motel. Obviously, I was holed up here for a little while. Starry night looks kind of cool. Everything's got this weird warp effect to it. I don't know if that's coming through on the social screen or not, but... It's not just like I'm in this space. Everything's kind of warped and moving around weird as I turn my head. But let's go ahead and pop some more pills. I'll take two of them this time. Three. Took three. Uh, now we have a light. So let it be known, folks, when you can't see, eat some pills. That noise is getting loud, though. Looks like I've been doing some heavy-duty drinking, too. Look at that. There's someone in... 
there was somebody in the bed. If you didn't catch it, click that back. Click the bar back and look at what just happened. There was no one in the bed to start with. I turn around, someone's in the bed. I turn back around to point it out and they're gone. Some weird, wild stuff. Back to the hallway again. Oh, a diff. Oh, crap, that scared the shit out of me. What is that? Where did it go? That was wild. Right, so the pictures have changed. This one's all melted. This one looks like a vampire. And look, there's demons flying around in the background. As this vampire attacks this other dude. And then up here we have the the goose, but it looks like it's dead. And there's a dog here. Some more dead animals. All right, so this is definitely taking a turn for the worse. Things are starting to get a little more screwed up. It's scary. Okay, it won't let me walk down this hall. Yeah, I'm stuck here, so I guess I have to go back through the door that I came in. We're back here again. And things are getting all weird because I didn't get to take my medicine that time. Well, what about this? Oh, there's one. I took it without trying to take it. Police have launched a homicide investigation after the body of an unidentified young man was found in a rural area of the Greenwater Swamps this morning. The exact cause of death is yet to be established, but a police spokesperson has confirmed that the victim suffered multiple injuries, and it is still unclear if the victim drowned in the swamp or if he was killed before entering the water. Police are investigating an unusual theme park swan boat, which was found close to the victim's body, and are looking for any information about a figure seen using the boat in the early hours of this morning. Sources say that officers have cordoned off a number of derelict premises in the area and are now widening their search to cover residential and business premises to find further information. Reports from the area have suggested that an abandoned holiday lodge irreparably damaged in the storms of 2005 may be linked to the investigation, but spokespersons for the police would not comment on these claims. Police are urging anyone with information to call the Regional Emergency Helpline immediately. We will be following the story as it happens on PCPB News. I'm Kim Clark. Good evening. Okay, so we took enough pills to remember the news story. And there's still no one in the bed, thankfully. So apparently... At least at this point, it looks like I murdered that young man. And I stole a swan boat from an amusement park. Looks like maybe I shackled him up at the Cypress Lodge. And did my business there and then dumped him in the swamp. That's what it looks like right now.
If I had to guess, I imagine this young man probably did something to my family. And I found him when I got back from the war and took care of business as anyone would. And the phone's ringing. I wonder if it's Buddy. Okay, so we're in a different room now at the Pelican Motel. I've got the d uh, door barred to the best of my ability. Got a room safe. I guess I should answer the phone, all right? the Pelican Motel now. We need to check every room one by one. Start at the end of that row, and I'll make sure that no one tries to slip away. And so, there's another little girl whispering to me in that. There's another Ace of Spades. The ace of spades. Okay. Mini fridge. What's in the mini fridge? Another missing person. Laura. I think that's the original missing person. Got a bent fork and for some reason when I touched the bent fork it made music in my ear significance maybe anything else in here it does not appear to be so some towels always gotta take the towels right and another postcard New Orleans or New Orleans, Louisiana. We have a post-it note on the back. What well, I remember, I write down. Well, we, I think we figured that out. You write down the safe combination? Help is available to those in need. Make a fist and press your thumb the back of your hand will guide the way so they gave you they give you hints if you can't figure it out they give you a, a way to cheat legally without going to Google if you don't have to go to Google it's not cheating right all right to access the safe please key the correct code enter three digits and use that button to confirm we hope you enjoyed your stay at Pelican Hotel all right, so obviously I need to look around and find this code or I can just get the code by asking for help, but I don't want to do it that way. Clearly something's going on with this fork. Hmm. Interesting. So we need to find Find where we put the, the safe. Um, 
combination. I don't see anything really out of the ordinary with this phone here. Hmm. I'm gonna try something right quick before we go any further. Guess not. All right. Engaged. Well, unengage. Maybe I need the fork to do that. There's no doorknob. I bet the doorknob's in the safe. And I bet the safe combo is in this bathroom or closet or whatever. the bathroom okay nothing so far except for a dripping faucet aha we have a medicine cabinet bet there's some pills in there for a safe combination we have a tankless toilet too. I was going to try to flush it. Good lord, look how big the hole in that thing is. That's made for a man right there. Try clogging that thing up, buddy. Eat all the cheese you want. It's not going to matter. All right. Take a pill. How many pills do we have? I don't see any pills. Chlorpromazine, hydrochloride, just the same as always. Nothing unusual about that. Look down in the bottle, there's this weird pattern in there, but nothing that means anything. We have the lid, nothing in that. Well, that's strange. I really expected something to be in here. Did I not put that bottle back in the cabinet? Thought that I did. I'm looking for some kind of clue here. I'm not finding anything. Oh, there's some water. Steaming things up. Is there a mirror? Or maybe I need to open this door. Thought maybe the steam would reveal numbers on the surface of something. 
Maybe I need to go back out into the other room again. Maybe the windows are going to get foggy. Aha! Where am I wrong? Is there fog on the windows? Thought there would be fog on the windows. Cops still out there too. I don't see any numbers. There's pictures on the wall now. Were these here before? I don't remember these being here before. When I remember I write down it says. Well, where did you write it at, son? Hmm. Four, three, three maybe. You can try it. No, that's not it. We are not there yet. Why did it bring me back into the same room? I tried to go into the uh, bathroom. Okay, so now we're back. The thing is still steaming. The toilet hole is still huge. Maybe I need to turn this one on too. There we are. 320. So I'm locked. <laughs> Shit. Scared the F out of me, and I was expecting a jump scare, and it scared me anyway. Cops still out there? Cops gone. There's blue lights now. They must know I'm in here. Plus, we got this rock and music starting to play again. Three, two, zero, go. Ooh, clues. Wait for me in the lodge. This is the missing page of the Bible that we were looking for earlier. Wait for me in the lodge, it says, written in blood. All right. We have another piece. News Digest, April 2012. This is the rest of that piece that we found in the lodge. Seven years, the legacy of the storm. See? This little piece that's cut out here, we actually found already in the lodge. 
the doorknob there yet? It isn't. Hmm. Guess I should read this. Years after the horrific storm of 05 that left 1,800 dead and thousands homeless, we have investigated the devastating effects for the children who were left orphaned. It is estimated that 400 children were left without parents or families in the wake of the hurricane. Most ended up in the care of local authorities, but many are missing, presumed dead after one of America's most deadly storms. Those who were rescued were considered lucky. But our investiga investigators have found these survivors have had to face further problems growing up in care with unemployment, drug use, prostitution rife in these now teenage orphans. We spoke to Kayla, now 14, who was 7 when she witnessed both of her parents and young younger brother swept away by the floods. She survived after clinging to a tree and was rescued 11 hours later. She said, I still have nightmares about it. I feel guilty that I was the only one in my family that survived. Her friend Taylor, 13, also lost his family in the storm, but he cannot remember any details. We were all huddled in the kitchen, me and my mom and dad. The storm struck in the early hours. I saw a telephone mask crash through the roof, but can't remember anything else. The next thing I remember is waking up in a really bright hospital three days later. Another teen, Madison, 15, has been in care since the storm, but will move out as soon as he is no longer considered a minor. I don't know what I'll do. I missed most of my education as the schools were damaged in the storm. When they did get up and running, I was in with the bad crowd and couldn't see the point of going to school. With many more having run away from care, some being found and returned, most not. It is clear that there are many more victims of the storm than those who lost their lives the night it struck. April 2012. Maybe this is the young man, that Madsen, Madison. Oh, I dropped my flashlight. Now we gotta find a way out of here. Can't move the chair. Because the chair in the room, green water, just wouldn't be anything without the chair. Alright, okay, well, let me use the fork on the other door. Hmm. So I can't use either door. None of the three it will let me use. I can't even go back to the bathroom if I have to go. my fork go? Two. I need my fork. Three. What's in the door? Five. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. I know that I'm in here. And we're back. So there you go, folks. Some more pieces to the still unsolved puzzle. We think maybe the young man in the swamp might be Madsen. Uh, either way, we know that there's tons of displaced youth orphaned by the hurricane. We know that 
the lodge is significant because the voices keep telling me to remember the lodge, remember the lodge, remember the lodge. And that's where we stand. And this seems like a good place to break. I think it's pretty awesome. Uh, all the uh, weird effects and things we experienced this episode. We got little pieces of the story. This is the way these mysteries, uh, mystery games are supposed to go. You got to work it out. And we're working it out. Nothing too difficult yet. Uh, nothing that we've had to bend our mind over too hard. We just uh, mess around with stuff and, and use a little logic and everything just kind of has fallen into place so far. But we still have miles to go. But so far, so good. I'm enjoying what I've been doing here. What do you think about it? Be sure to leave a comment down below. And if you like what you see here, click that like button. Subscribe. Don't forget the notification bell. When we come back, we'll continue to toy around with this post-it note board and try to put together some more pieces of my memory. Until then, thank you for watching, and I will see you another day from another game. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later.